It's not immoral why young people are shoplifting to protest capitalism. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. 2023. Popularity of hashtags like hashtag shoplifters ha- and hashtag borrowing tips. Young people are stealing goods as a way of fighting the system and the rising costs of living. Listen. There's a major demographic challenges going on. And certainly technology continues to advance. And who the hell knows what your job is going to be in the future? Anyone's. Uh, according now, but but I'm not suggesting like theft is being the solution to it. Yeah. Because that's a very short-term outlook. Like I'm just going to get the thing I need right now. It's like mm, probably not a long-term solution here. Have you ever stolen anything? Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever got caught? Of course not. <laughs> really? No, I'm. I'm. I mean, like when I was like, uh, I don't know, a youngster and being being, uh, what is it? Dared you? You won't take that right. thing type of thing. But but then I quickly recovered from that and realized, like, man, the dude running that little shop suffered from that. Mm-hmm. I don't actually. I think I actually may have brought him the money after. Believe it or not. Hmm. so dumb like five cent gummies or something like that you yeah. know what i'm saying i may have actually brought them wow corporations get big and faceless and it's hard to feel that 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 in some way affected something but the ma and pa shops it's different right when you're a kid but here's the thing ultimately in the end there is uh there could be consequences for this if it becomes widespread where all of a sudden these goods get locked up or you can they can only be ordered online like we could lose some of the conveniences if it becomes a trend difficult to to have the to have the convenience of picking these things up because enough uh-huh. people are stealing them do you know what i'm trying to say yeah 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 uh, kind of ruins it for but, everyone but not just that also it just sort of sets a bizarre precedent that if you don't like the way that something is working uh that there's some sort of hack that there's some sort of uh shortcut or something and listen i can understand the lack of prospects i understand that whole argument but like there we got so many times in my life when you try to approach something from the standpoint of trying to fix something really quickly that it doesn't it just doesn't pay the same as when you try to be meticulous with something and when you keep going back at it and when you put like a long sustained effort into something Mm-hmm. anything again that's that's situations and circumstances are constantly changing according to a 2021 axios poll 52 percent of gen zers in the u.s held negative feelings toward capitalism while in the uk 67 percent of young people favored a socialist economic model uh young people are at the sharp end of a generational inequality the federal minimum wage in the u.s has stayed at 725 an hour for the past 13 years, hasn't accounted for inflation since the 60s. And the UK cost of living has gone up so much that two in five Gen Zers work more than one job to make ends meet. With all this in mind, it's unsurprising that so many people are either needing to shoplift to afford basic necessities or are keen to protest against the system. It's, a de- it's also a demographic issue, which we've talked about on this show in the past. How you have aging populations and you have social security and things that have to be paid for Mm -hmm. by an upcoming generation which is much smaller than the older generation and uh, people working longer retiring later not necessarily freeing up jobs you have technology and new companies that are becoming more efficient finding ways to achieve similar tasks by actually hiring fewer people like if you look at a walmart for example like all the little shops and things that used to exist in an environment then they get one and all of a sudden it absorbs all of that and does it more efficiently and with fewer people than were needed previously it's a very complicated topic Uh, on the r shoplifting subreddit the most common place people admit to shoplifting was from walmart and target and grocery stores many of the posts show meat and oil in the hands of shoplifters Another post discussed the correlation between the cost of items and theft. Inflation isn't real. Make things cheaper or I will simply steal them. 
it is really feels like a band-aid approach to a much bigger issue to an open wound a demographic wound uh an economic wound people need meaningful things to do and they need to be rewarded for participating in meaningful things mm. and we need to encourage any and all operations that are leading to more people finding meaningful things to do. Opportunity. Well, think of think about the word opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a tough time now um, for someone who is interested in some sort of job and potentially being replaced in the future due to automation or something. Trucking, for example. Yeah, like uh, everything's going to drive itself. Yet it's this huge employer, people. And, and by the way, that's not happening anytime soon. There is like a sense of hopelessness, I feel like. Well, that comes as a consequence of a lack of prospects. You see a lack of prospects. And then also a lot of people have instructions that, and advice. And that advice might lead nowhere. They're like, oh, you got to go get all, you got to go pay for all this education or something along these lines. And or it's like, like hustle. That hustle uh, culture. Sure, yeah. sure. Hustle. Hustle your way out of it. Well, it's like yes and no. Like it's good to work hard, but it's also like you kind of have to be focused in a direction. You kind of have to have some strategy to it as well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, but there's probably probably a variety of different opinions on this subject. However, uh, I have to think that the, the band aid is no no one no one really thinks that this is going to solve anything sure it's a very temporary type of type of solution yeah. and like i said i in a way it almost Im can embolden these corporations mm -hmm. to make things harder because if you know they're in a in a way they're relied upon weirdly by all parties by those that are paying paying the uh paying the margins and purchasing things the typical way and the thieves like the, the, to, to realize how much you depend in some town on this one enterprise. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like Walmart it runs these towns in some places. Mm -hmm. It's like you need something. Only one in that town. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of, it's weird. Yeah. The, the people, they, even the thieves rely on the, distribution model which is now in place hmm. via the success of those megacorps that have cornered the, the market for those type of shops that, that sort of have everything shops mm -hmm. even when you're not paying for it you're relying on their success yeah in a way because they're the they, one. they can't be gone in a small town they can't they can't just pack i mean up i guess leave. they could it would take a long while yeah. for something to for for that to be repurposed back up like i'm thinking about where we live you have independent stores for certain categories but then you definitely don't for other categories mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's interesting and i love small business will so, i know you. so don't you dare go stealing from the small business or i'll come for you not me no i am a, good <laughs> i am a big Small business guy. Somebody here says Walmart is like City Hall for some towns. It is. Yeah, it's a meetup. It's the center. It's, it's yeah. That's the enterprise bringing everything your town needs into your town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's really wild. Yeah. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying that's where we're at. Mm-hmm.